Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C53S, a uh, long curved terrestrial hook that's three extra long, size six for this improved sofa pillow. Okay, we'll just bang on a foundation of tying thread. That'll do to us for us about there. There we are. Then what we need is uh, some bleached elk. Now this should be long hairs. Makes it easier to tie. This is from Nature Spirit. Fantastic quality in their natural materials. So you need to clean your elk hair for the tail. Stack it. I want the tail to be about that long. So I'm just going to tack this in up here first just to see if I've got the tail the correct length. That's perfect. I've got to go down into the hook bend with it. A little bit more. It's looking good. Now I can go back up. Now what I'll do is I'll lift all this hair if I can get all of it out of the way and move this up to where the front hackle will begin. Now I'll pull everything. Now this is one of the advantages of having long hair is that we hold everything down like this and then we can go back and create our tapered body this will not only help with the building up the taper but it will also let's pull that tail around it will also help buoyancy with this elk hair being trapped in the underbody and go up here and take my deer hair scissors and I'll just trim off all that surplus So now I can build up the underbody. So then what we need is our silver wire. This is a blonde I'm doing. So we just tuck that in there and go back. I want to tie this in all the way tight into the tail base. I can go back up. This is a real fat fly. Okay, and we need our hackle. I'm using a silver badger. Let's get that rip out the way. This is for the palmered body hackle so we tie this in just at the front tie the end down and I can wind this on. Now you can make this hackle as dense as you like really. I'll line this back. And we take our rib from the back side. So we cross over the hackle. This will keep the hackle in position 
and make it stronger and then we can just wind our rib forward and rotating the vise there we are Let's reverse our thread tie off the rib just remove that with friction and we can trim off the remainder of the hackle It's looking good, and then we need the wing. Just need to move that tying thread back. There we are. Measure that, it wants to be about approximately the same length as the tail. Shorter hairs you can pull out. Okay, get rid of that. Then we want this wing to stay on top, so we go once around the bunch that will keep it together, and then twice around the hook, and then tighten slowly. Then we can go through the hair, that will secure it, go forward there's the wing okay, now we need to trim off all the Excess, good. And we can just build up the head. Good. Got one hair there. Shouldn't be there. Then we need our hackle. So what I do with this is I strip one side of the hackle off for the fibres. I want to tie this in. Spin up my Let's see if I can Good. A little cream or light Carhill dubbing for this blonde. Sofa pillar. This is super fine dubbing. So what we do here is we just give it a loose wrap. Oops. Right. Hold all that back. And we just tub the head. And then we attach a hackle plier. I find that better to use than doing it by freehand. And what we want here is a lot of hackle. everything back, strip off 
the last few strands of hackle there. And we'll tie that off. Oops. And we can remove the hackle. And we can give it a wet finish. Give it one more. Remove the tying thread. Like so. And that needs a little trim off that. There we go. Pull the wing back. And that's it. That's the finished, improved sofa pillar. Thanks for watching.